Welcome to Cinevino. I'm here with filmmaker Gabriela Ortega and actress Shakira Barrera, who stars in the film Way Up, which is premiering at Sundance. Welcome, ladies, to Cinevino. Thank you so much, Don. Thank you for, so much for having us. I'd like to start with you, Gabriela, if we could tell us a little bit about your film. Way Ya, which means footprint, is a short film playing at the Sundance Film Festival, as, as you know, and it's about a woman who's a flamenco dancer, a Dominican woman who has migrated to the U.S. and is stuck in a day job that she doesn't particularly feel drawn to and then finds out that her grandmother in the Dominican Republic has passed. And through that comes a reckoning of emotions that she must deal with, but in order to sort of get through, she has to sort of deal with herself and the things that she's been concealing for a long time. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I liked all the generations that you put into it. Thank you so much. I think, yeah, this, this, the film speaks of generational trauma and sort of how the things that we don't wanna inherit from our ancestors and our parents and our grandparents stay with us and they sort of feel like a curse and how we must, come to a point that we have to choose whether or not we will carry those burdens and, and, and come to our own. And stop running away. Right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so you're a 2021-22 Sundance Institute Art of Practice Fellow. Could you share with us a little bit about what the Art of Practice Fellowship is and how that experience has helped shape you as a filmmaker? Totally. I think I consider myself a multidisciplinary artist. I started as an actor, then started writing and creating theater. I've done voiceover, poetry, and sort of all of those practices that don't necessarily relate to filmmaking informed my filmmaking. And what I love about the Sundance Institute is that they too are very forward thinking. They are thinking about the artist of tomorrow and how those artists may not have necessarily a formal education or they come from different walks of life and, and that makes I think film and the film industry more inclusive. And what's wonderful about this fellowship is that it actually came out of the pandemic. So in 2020, the granting and the programs that had to do with the theater lab, which is where I'm sort of an alum from, and the VR projects and the, comp the composition, the music composition component, they all sort of got a little bit disbanded because people couldn't go to the mountain to, to go to this fellowship, but they couldn't really, um, it, it, you know, we were at a standstill because of the pandemic. And so they created this sort of collective, bringing artists from all of these practices to grow and collaborate and collaborate together. And it was really out of conversations that they had with us that we, I was in a few round tables where they would ask us, what does theater look like tomorrow? What, what do you wanna see in, in collaboration with different artists? And I think that was so wonderful um, because it's sort of, it's catered to us now. And so in this year of the fellowship, we have some granting opportunities, we're creating projects, we're collaborating, we're sharing skills. And it, it's just like a beautiful community that I'm so proud to be a part of. And, and it really, I think, informs to what Sundance is doing into the future. And I'm, I'm just grateful to be supported by them and, and, and be part of it. Continuing on that, on inclusion, um, you know, we're making progress, but we still have a long way to go. I'm wondering what actions would you like to see implemented in Hollywood to create further inclusion within our entertainment community? I'll have Shakita start with that because she's she's been, she's a seasoned performer artist and I would love to know what, what she thinks about that first. Uh, thanks, Gabby. I think uh, for me, in terms of um, actor producer, what I would want to see is more opportunities from agents that are thinking a little bit more creatively and not um, putting us in into what the Hollywood box that we've been put in. So a little bit more of creativity, which I, I'm definitely seeing from my team, which um, shout out to A3. Um, but I think just just that is is more opportunities uh, to make us stand out in a way that isn't uh, the norm for for us for Latinos. Uh, Way as a perfect example of that. I think you know we we're not preaching uh, a typical Latino story, um, which it's not to you know put put shade on those stories at all. It's it's just we're highlighting something else. We're highlighting Caribbean uh, struggles. We're highlighting a Dominican 
woman. Those, those women are underrepresented on screen. The stories aren't really told and, and it goes as far as media. So I think for me, that's, that's where I wanna see uh, change start a little bit more. And on the other side, which is, I started out as a performer, my unfulfillment with those Caribbean stories sort of draw me to filmmaking. I think I want the commitment as much as I want the talk, you know, I think we've had so many conversations about it and nothing has really changed. And still, I think there's a big gap about the opportunities that especially Latino women get. And, you know, I think it's it's time to sort of put the, the money and the, and the bet onto those projects, because what happens is that these projects get bought and get greenlit, but then they get changed and they get sort of you know, there's there's fear that they might not be as, as successful because we're trying to make the Latino movie TM rather than a great film or a great TV show. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot. I mean, we're not the only ones and we're not the first and hopefully we're not the last, <laughs> um, please. But I think there's there's a great push right now in the community to, to really be our, our, our own selves authentically, unapologetically and, and really again, just make great stories, which is what's getting us all through the pandemic. I mean, in terms of, of having leisure and fun, we all turn to our TVs to, to watch something exciting, you know? And I think, and I think it just, it just brings me hope where we're going, I think. So coming back to Weya, I wanted to ask you, Shakira, uh, being a dancer yourself, you share a common bond with your character, Daniela Garcia. Uh, how has the dance and the movement helped you with mental health and dealing with grief? Wow, such a great question. I, I love feeling all of the things and then releasing it through movement. I think it's such an art form that has been long ignored, underpaid, uh, not given enough recognition. I mean, I've been dancing since I was three. It's such a hard art form and, and such a disciplined one. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of Waya to highlight dance, you know, and, and good storytelling. But the dance component for me through COVID, regardless of it being on Zoom was so healing for me. I can't even begin to explain it. Just moving that way and, and realizing that we have been in a funk kind of for two years is, is it was it was really eye opening and it was really healing and I I really appreciated it and I appreciated uh, Gabby's approach to not only the storytelling and the acting but the dancing she really wanted it to be authentic to me and um, our choreographer Celeste really wanted me to she she didn't impose the movement onto me she really wanted it to feel like it was a part of me and I think that process was also really fun um, which was a lot for you know, one short film, but Gabriela did it beautifully. You know, the dancing, the acting, the thriller component and the suspense, I think was was all done so beautifully on her end. It was all done beautifully. Great casting. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the casting. It really is. It's like, I think 70% of the job because it, it just makes it easy. I mean, the short was super ambitious and I was aware of that. And I came in with my shot list that I was like, this is what I want to shoot, but I was also prepared to be like, this is what I have to cut. <laughs> but working with Shakira and all the prep and sort of like our bond and how our friendship developed before before was so beautiful because she just killed it. I mean, we did like two to three takes and we were just like flying. It was it was amazing. Um, staying on dance, uh, I just wanted to know, Shakira, like, how do you balance your love of dance and you know, in your craft as an actor. I know there's a lot of crossover sometimes, but you know, that's gotta be hard. And it's just good to give advice to other young women who might be dancers and artists and other mediums. Oh, for sure. Um, that's that's who I would love to to speak to, you know, and to, to get to that community is, um, you know, I think we're, it, it's tough because, you know, my whole life dancing eight hours a day, you know, thinking that you're going to end up in a company you know, or, you know, American Ballet Theater and then finding out in college that your feet are too flat, you know, you'll never be there. You, you don't, I didn't want to be that thin to be in the company, you know, which I think is a great sacrifice that I just wasn't willing to, to do, you know, 
what do you do when you find yourself in that position where you're like, wow, I can only dance until I'm 35. What can I do other than be a choreographer? You know, what is left for me? I think that that fear is also a driving force. That's what I would tell people is I leaned into that fear of asking myself those questions of, you know, really, what can you do? Let's be practical, Shakira. Like, how can you continue to be an artist and continue to use this, all of this knowledge, you know, and not just push it to the side, but use it to convert it into something else. And I think that's when the acting came for me is, you know, it was so scary not speaking for so long and, and being able to communicate with my body, which is, you know, a, a profession to then using everything, you know, emotional spirit, physicality and bringing that into the acting, I think was so such an exciting path. So I would just say to anybody who's watching this, you know, regardless if you're a dancer or not, is to really lean into that fear, you know, and don't let it deter you, like keep dreaming because that's, that's manifesting your future. So that's what I would tell people is don't, don't be afraid. Don't put yourself in that box. Like it will work out for you. And if for me, dance always kept calling me back. So that's what I would say to, to people. Wonderful advice. Thank you, Shakira. Of course. I know we're, uh, we're coming to the end of our interview. Our time limit's almost up. Um, but I did wanna uh, throw in there, um, Gabriella, you've had a lot of success with your first film was on HBO and now this one. I didn't know if you wanted to toss in a couple, um, like any habits or methods or techniques that you use to share with young filmmakers. Totally. I think the best thing is follow your gut, your gut instinct. Listen to people, have mentors, share things with a trusted circle, a circle that doesn't judge you, a circle that doesn't give you like a weird feeling or makes you feel bad about yourself after those people are the ones to share stuff with. But at the end of the day, it's all about your intuition and putting your heart into what you want to make because people can read that even if they don't understand how you did it. If it doesn't look perfect, when people see your heart in something, they really connect to it. And I think don't give up and don't let people tell you that your dreams are too big or that you're too this or too that. Just follow your intuition and walk in your purpose because I was I was not a filmmaker two and a half years ago. And I'm it's a dance. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Well, congratulations to you both. Incredible stories. I could ask you a ton more questions, but I know we don't have the time. <laughs> uh, I want to encourage everybody to get out there and watch this film. Watch Abuela. I say get it right yet? <laughs> almost, almost. Getting there, getting there, way out. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, <laughs> congratulations to you both. And with your film, Way Out on, at Sundance, I wanna encourage everyone to get out there and watch <laughs> it. Thank you, Shakira, thank you, Gabriella. Uh, thanks for your time today. We're really excited that we could talk with you here on Cinevino.